Welcome. In this video, I'm responding to TJ Talks on my Finding Bridget, Bridget Face Reveal video. He said, create a live stream debate type of thing. I want to debate you on this because you missed the mark on Sasson. I'm not going to defend Marquette personally because I haven't met him personally, but anyone with two eyes and two ears can hear the wisdom he teaches because he lives it. Anybody can recite Bible, recite Bible verses. The devil is actually very good at this. However, when you understand the truths in the Bible based on your own experiences, it comes another naturally. I think he meant to say together. You can't make up some of the stuff he says. It says a lot about you that you use a voice changer, turned off the comments on the first video about him and are so comfortable hating on him. I watched a few of your videos and still don't know if you're trolling or genuinely hating. I hear a lot of weakness and uncertainty and insecurity when you speak. I love to talk and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Much love, bro. So let's go ahead and unpack this. Create a live stream debate type of thing. Not going to happen. This is my first time seeing you on my platform. So what are we really going to debate about if you yourself said that you don't know Marquette personally to defend him? This you you're commenting on a video about him. So what do we have to talk about? We 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 haven't expressed ideas to each other outside of this. So I, I just don't I don't think this warrants that. So that's why I'm gonna just give you this response right here, right now. Now <clears throat> excuse me guys. Anybody can recite Bible verses, recite Bible verses. The devil's actually very good at this. So let me go ahead and um, what you're making reference to is James 2 verse 19, the King James Version. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. This is important because I think it actually adds to one of your points. Marquette Burton is very knowledgeable. He's very well read, but a lot of you forget that he's actually a school teacher by profession. So he's very well versed on a, on a slew of different topics. So that's why a lot of you guys, you look to him and you look to him for knowledge because he's very good at transmitting knowledge, being that he is an orator and he's a presenter. Teachers are presenters. So the fact that he's able to do both of those things at a high level really gives you guys the perception that he is at an intelligence level so far above yours that you need him as a source of intelligence. And let me just say this. I followed him for over a year. And one of the biggest things I was able to figure out is that I just don't need him. He does say some great things as far as, uh, you know, anything that's book related or knowledge related. Those are things that they just cannot be disputed. And they resonate with me because I've read many of the literary works that he has read. In fact, uh, collegiately, a lot of the books and philosophy that he cites, they're, they're requirements. Some people learn philosophy in college. I mean, in high school, if you don't, then you learned it in college. These are things that, you know, the average person just doesn't go the extra mile to be well versed in many different things. So when they see someone like him, they're just like, oh, my gosh, you know so much. But this is a guy who has said himself, he said, uh, I'm just going to paraphrase the point, but he said himself, if you read enough about certain things, you can have acquired knowledge through actually reading. So you can have acquired knowledge based on just reading. He actually gave that as advice. So that it stands to reason that a lot of these experiences that he talks of, a lot of this stuff can be cap. And I'm hey, it is what it is. Because you gotta understand, like the things that I have brought to you guys' attention, these are things that you guys just didn't have the wherewithal to search for yourself. When it came to that Rolls Royce video he put it out there and try to make it seem a certain way. But a lot of y'all don't understand. You don't have to be rich. And that's what I want to tell you guys. You don't have to be rich to get yourself a, an old Rolls Royce. It's only twenty five to dollars $30,000. Buy one of those things, fix it up. It's simple. But to you guys, it looks like he's this multimillionaire. He's riding around in limos. Limos are cheap. 
they've lost their value over the years. Very easy to get a limo. And in fact, you can get a lot of ride sharing services that provide limos to you. So like Uber and Lyft, those type of things, you can actually request limos. On top of that, celebrities don't even use limos themselves. They use armored SUVs. Very rarely do they even use limos. And when they do, matter of fact, they use, matter of fact, they use either like tour buses, they use sprinters more than they use limos. So when you see something like that, I don't think that this guy is some multimillionaire. That's all I'm trying to tell you guys. It's easy to sound like you know something because you read something that you live something because you read something, but that doesn't mean anything. This is a guy, he's very well read on different religions. He knows about Islam, he knows about the Bible, but you gotta understand the Holy Bible, but you gotta understand, this is a guy who uses that knowledge to contrast with his own teachings and ideologies. This is a guy who is creating principles that are cult-like. This is a guy that is playing on the stupidity of the viewer. He's literally, t- he said it himself, literally saying, and I'm going to paraphrase him because this is the crux of what he said, but this is a guy who's literally saying, hey, you guys have such a short attention span. You guys are so dumb that, hey, King Commandments is too much for you guys to follow. You guys hate to read. Let me just give you three simple things. Be good be yourself, be good to yourself, be good to good people. He said literally that he created that three sentence Bible because he believes it's more actionable than the Holy Bible. He believes that it's more actionable. He believes that it's easier to say, Hey, these three things people can follow because you guys don't have the discipline. You guys don't have the discipline. He's literally telling you guys this and it shows the reason you guys believe that this guy is, is so much far and beyond intelligent than what he is. It's because he just has more discipline than you. He reads more than you. You'd rather give him $50 in a super chat and watch a live stream and feel like you learned something than to go pick up a book and read the books that he read for yourself. It's really simple. Guys like myself who are well read like him, like a lot of like a lot of his followers are, they understand like Okay, yeah, the stuff that he's saying that's true and knowledgeable, it can't be disputed because we don't read the same book. So, okay, yeah, you're saying some truth on that, but that's not the thing that we have an issue with. And I'm going to speak for myself. That's not the thing that I have an issue with. It's not the things that he speaks on that is like public common knowledge. It's the ideologies that he's trying to indoctrinate you guys with. And it's very cult-like. I also have an issue with the main reason I started making videos about this guy was because he bashed well-respected guys in the manosphere like Kevin Samuels and Coach Corey Wayne. I didn't like when he bashed Coach Corey Wayne because he roasted this guy for no reason. Coach Corey Wayne and Kevin Samuels don't even know who this guy is. They don't. So with Coach Corey Wayne, I just think that was just that was unnecessary because he said in the video, hey, I only re- I only uh, watched one of his videos, but yet he made an assessment about what Coach Corey Wayne teaches in his entire material based on one video, which I think was very ignorant of him. For someone who is very who touts himself as being well read and educated, that was dumb to do and ignorant. I follow this guy for over a year. So I'm making videos based on me actually being one of his followers, like someone who's actually watched his videos. So when I make these videos, I'm saying what I know and I'm saying what I've witnessed. And that's what a lot of his followers have come over here to say, like, hey, yo, you're right. But you guys don't like to Google. Anytime. Here's the thing. A lot of his videos have way more comments than what you see. But one of the things that myself and some of his other followers have noticed, anything that has a dissenting opinion of his, he nips it in the bud. He used to say, he doesn't say this anymore because it would be a lie. He used to say back in the day, hey, I don't delete any comments. He deletes several, he deletes lots of comments. Anything that is in opposition with what he's trying to teach, he deletes it. He does everything he can to create a narrative. So all you see are these dudes riding him. But you don't see the intelligent dudes that are actually challenging this guy. He's creating a persona. And here's the thing. When I said in that first video that he has an identity crisis, 
that went over a lot of so many of you guys' heads. But this is a guy, and he talks about squares, right? Fundamentally, he is a square. Fundamentally. He can tell you whatever he wants about his upbringing and the things that he went through. But at the end of the day, he had a privileged education. The guy, you know, had some experiences where he got to travel and you got to, to, to do a startup and all these other things. And the guys, the guys are square, but yet he's fighting between being an upstanding citizen and being a pimp and a rapper. Like he wants to be like, he wants to be this rough and tough boxer, rapper, pimp and dude. Like he wants to be that, but it's in conflict with who he really is as a school teacher. It's just so many different things. And, and we're allowed to have different facets to our, to our character and our personality, but he wants to live like he's Floyd Mayweather or somebody when it's a facade. And that's why I made that video of the, the top six signs, which I really want you guys to go and watch because if you're trying to put knowledge out there, People don't need to see the lifestyle. People don't really care about your life. But here's the thing. He knows a lot of you guys are simple. He knows it's easy to get you guys' attention like that. Ty Lopez did it. A lot of these um, success gurus and self-help guys, that's the main thing. They buy themselves a Lambo, rent themselves a house. It's really simple. And Marquette, he gets to kind of dabble in stunting. He dabbles in it a little bit. But then he also uses the facade that he is frugal. He does that so that he can counterbalance it so that when you guys see that he's not consistently living lavish, you think, oh, he's just being frugal. You think, oh, he he wears like the same three or four outfits. He wears the same suit jacket. Even, Even his professional pictures, he's wearing like the same two or three things, right? Same jacket, same sweater, right? You think he's being frugal. You really have to investigate into that because you would think that a guy who as is affluent as he claims to be would have multiple, multiple custom made suits. It would be nothing for him to do that. But yet he tried to bash Kevin Samuel for his suits. Try to talk about Kevin Samuel and how Kevin Samuel puts uh, Kevin Samuels puts emphasis on image when Marquette's whole brand is based on his false image that we've already exposed. Anybody can go rent a limo. Anybody can do it. You can do it through Uber. You can do it through Lyft. Again, celebrities don't use them. Real celebrities, they use blacked out, blacked out SUVs. They don't want to draw attention to themselves. It's impractical. Most of them use sprinters. So he's telling you about this lavish lifestyle, but it's, it's flashy to people that just don't know what they're talking about, man. So if you're smart, and you have a reasonable <laughs> IQ level, then you understand that, yes, the guy is speaking knowledgeable, but it's because, A, he's a teacher. B, he's well-read. So that's one thing. But when you start to see the chinks in his armor and how he tries to use that to manipulate you guys, that's where it goes over you guys' head. But I made this off the cuff, guys. I just wanted to respond to that one video. I mean, that comment that he made in this video, I rambled on guys, but, um, that it's going to be what it's going to be. And I'm going to put this out and you guys decide for yourselves, but there will be no live stream. This is your response. Peace.